Hi, this is Tanuja from veganlovely.com. Welcome to the first episode of the holiday recipes um, series. I hope to be able to post some more recipes for you for the holidays during the coming weeks. So stay tuned for upcoming uh, recipe videos. So the recipe that I'm presenting today is actually for a, a virtual vegan potluck which is an event organized by Annie from An Unrefined Vegan. So I'm inviting you to the blog to have a look and see um, and learn more about this event. There are many other bloggers participating so you can read the full recipe that I'm presenting there and also navigate to the other blogs and see what the others have brought to the potluck. So the recipe that I am presenting is a sweet fruit bread which you can have at any time of the day or for breakfast or even dessert. So, allons-y! So I usually use oat pulp in this recipe but today I'm showing you what you can use as a substitute just in case you don't have oat pulp. So you can use just um, quick oats which I'm going to uh, blend to make it, it like a flour and then add some water to this. Mix until you get a thick paste. In a large mixing bowl add one and a half cup of flour one teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of baking soda, a pinch of salt and mix these together well. Add one quarter cup of vegetable oil then mix and lift with the fingers until the mixture looks like fine breadcrumbs. Add a half teaspoon of cardamom powder, two tablespoons of soft brown sugar, one third cup of coconut flakes and mix these all together. To the oat mixture that we left aside add one tablespoon of lemon juice and half teaspoon of almond extract then mix these together very well. Then add this oat mixture to the dry ingredients. Start to mix in the oat with the flour to form a dough. If you're finding that the mixture is a bit dry, add a couple tablespoons of water and mix again to form a dough. So the resulting dough should be soft and supple and not sticky. Now leave the dough aside for a bit and we are going to prepare the fruits that we are going to put in this bread. So peel and cut the apple into small pieces. You can add any dried fruits that you like and I am adding some candied ginger. So. I'm cutting these into small pieces. I'm also going to be adding some raisins. Next, flour your work surface and transfer the dough onto the work surface. Flour the dough a little bit and shape into a sort of a rectangular a rough rectangular shape then begin by rolling out the dough roll it out so that it fits the size of the board and still keep the rectangular shape so the thickness should be a little bit less than one centimeter then sprinkle some cinnamon and some soft brown sugar Add in the apples and 
and the dried fruits. You should only fill the fruits to about three quarter of the dough. Then start to roll the dough over itself and enclose the fruit inside. So start from the longest edge and roll towards the other edge. Press lightly to secure everything inside. Then transfer the dough on a sheet of wax paper or parchment paper. This will help to transfer the dough into the baking mold afterwards. To shape the crown, take um, opposite ends and bring them together. Then tuck one end into the other and press lightly to enclose so the shape should be like a big donut at this stage then take a pair of kitchen scissors and start snipping the dough three quarters of the way down at equal intervals. I made about 10 cuts. Just make sure you don't go all the way through. Leave the base of the dough still uncut. Now you may want to pull the slices, alternating them toward the center and outside. After you're done, transfer the dough into the baking mold. You may also bake this on a tray and bake for about 25 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. After 25 minutes of baking, take out the dough and brush with some glazing which is a mixture of non-dairy milk and a pinch of turmeric. You may also want to skip this step. After you've put the glazing on, put the bread back in the oven and bake for another two minutes. Then remove the bread from the oven and set it aside to cool while we prepare the icing. So I am using homemade icing sugar one quarter cup to which I am adding two teaspoon of water mix this well until you get a somewhat runny consistency then drizzle the icing on the bread You may also want to dust the bread with some powdered sugar to give it that really nice frosty look that makes it look very holiday-like. The whole kitchen is bursting with the sweet aroma of the spices and fruits at the moment. I really wish I could share this bread with you. But on second thoughts, maybe not. <laughs> Just kidding. So I hope you try this bread because it's really delicious. Days, I'll pass with a gentle pace But suddenly stack up Watching as we rack up The changes that we never see But we are never the same Don't blink your eyes or you might miss it so I hope you've enjoyed this recipe and if you've uh, liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more recipes. There are going to be more holiday recipes coming up soon 
and let's also connect on my social media and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye! Just dusting her and blurry her Till suddenly a stranger shakes my hand You can't chase the breeze Cause you're never gonna catch You can't stop the seas When the waves come crashing Can't hold your dreams When the sunlight fills the room When you're asleep When you're awake the sum of every breath you take and feel